there have always been certain attitudes or certain things that I recognize maybe I have asked for you for you. I know when I ask you to do schoolwork and when I ask you to go to school and when I ask you to study, even when I know you're struggling, all right, please understand I'm not telling you to go to school because I just want you out of the house or because I don't want you to uh, be happy and I'm trying to make you suffer and punish you by, you know, being in a place that you don't like. That is not my intention. But, at least in my experience, when I go somewhere or when I have needed to be, a, when I'm feeling ill and I go to the doctor or when I have needed a lawyer or anything to do with the law, when I have needed to do my taxes, anything that has to do with computers, anything in an office, so those, those guys seem to be having an easier time and they seem to do, they seem to be doing a little bit better than that, than I am. They don't seem to struggle. Obviously every, everybody struggles. I'm going to be honest. So I, I understand everybody struggles. Everyone suffers. And it's not the same to be 12 hours in front of a computer as it might be 12 hours outside driving and moving stuff and and you're getting wet and you're in the cold and, and you're in the 100 degree weather or the 40 degree weather or whatever you are on you're not driving as it's raining you're not driving as, as it's snowing you're not out in the mercy of nature or at mercy of other drivers when i ask you to go to school it's because if you ever choose to work somewhere and do something where you need to be in the rain i want you to be in the rain because you choose to be in the rain and you enjoy the rain not because there's no other choice but to be in the rain because it's, your job requires this of you because if you don't do a proper job, then you get fired. As fun as the rank, the rank could be when we were small and maybe has good memories. And the rain is amazing because it is what makes trees grow and the plants grow and makes the rivers and the lakes and rain makes everything look more beautiful. Except your job. When it's raining and you're working, all you wish you could do is that you could be at home. When it's raining and you're working, you wish you could be with the people you love. And it's the idea of the people that you love that make it able to tolerate such a thing, that you can provide for them, that you can achieve something better and maybe accomplish something better, help them accomplish something better than you could. Now, I want something better for you. I want the best for you. And if the best implies that, you know, it's, it's I have to work and I have to do things outside and I have to do stuff on the rain and I have to do in the heat, and I have to do my work even on the snow, then I will do it because I'm trying to help you accomplish something better. I'm trying to accomplish and be in a place where you don't have to be and you don't have to suffer what I am suffering and you don't have to struggle with what I have to struggle. When I ask you to go to school and when I ask you to do homework and when I ask all of that stuff for you, I'm not just trying to make things complicated for you. Understand that I'm trying to tell you that life is not difficult. Just like it's not difficult now, maybe. And school is different. It's school, even if school is difficult, and I understand school is difficult, but so is work. And it is easier to struggle for a little bit while you're in school 
and struggled your entire life. And maybe me telling you to school is me admitting my own imperfection and, and telling you that yes, it's I wish I could have done things differently and I wish I could have done things different. I wish I could have done things better. And maybe I am putting my own fears and my own failures on you because I'm trying to have you avoid the things in which I failed on before. Now, I tried to be an artist and I failed. I tried to play music and I failed. I tried to dance and I failed. But when I tell you to go to school, I'm not doing it out of the spice. When I tell you to go to school, it's because I've learned that there are better paths, there are easier paths than what I have taken. My own path has put me taking pills for pain because my body suffered. It has put me to take pills for pain because my mind suffers and my heart is empty and my heart aches and my mind is full of regrets and things that I could have done better, things I wish I could have done better to provide and to be better, to be a better father, to be a better role model. And all I want to do is love you. All I want to do is spend time with you. But somebody has to work, somebody has to provide. And what it requires to be able to provide that if that is 12 hours from work, then that is a sacrifice one needs to make. So when I tell you maybe you should go to school and you should do other stuff, it's because I don't want you to have to sacrifice. And I don't want you to spend 12 hours away from your family when you have it. Because let's be honest, being a man and being a father is not the easiest thing. People look up to you. People expect you to help. They don't. They don't give you a hand because they're there to help you. But they reach a hand to you so you can lift them up. That's you as my children. That's. You as my wife, that's you as my friends, that's you as my family. I'm here to support you guys. Even when sometimes I'm freaking drowning and I don't know what to do. I'm supposed to stand tall. I'm supposed to be the man and I'm supposed to be the person that no one's there for me. So you guys are not alone. So you guys don't have to struggle alone. But I'm here struggling all alone. So I'm sorry. If sometimes it sounds like I'm insensitive. I'm sorry if sometimes it sounds like I don't care and I don't listen. But I'm afraid, I'm more afraid of letting you fall because of my own incompetence. The idea of you suffering because my own poor choices. That is perhaps what leads me to push you a little bit further and push you forward and perhaps by pushing you, I am pushing you away from me. And to be honest, at the end of the day, uh, when my days end, I look back and me pushing you 
led you to be in a place where you yourself are happy, where you yourself are content and reliable, and you are someone reliable and you can provide for yourself and the people you love. I would still wish to have had more memories with you, but I can be happy and content that through my efforts, I perhaps saved you. Even if I, even if I am doomed. love you. I really do love you. I don't mean to cause my actions. I don't mean, I don't mean for my actions to hurt you. I don't mean to be the one that makes you suffer. All I want is for you to be happy and maybe this is my own way of saying or admitting my own defeat. I want the best for you. Even if the best for you would imply being away from me, then I'll suffer for the both of us, for all of us. I'll suffer from everybody. I'll take in, I'll take in all the pain if that guarantees you being happy. <laughs> 